Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this 8th Python SQLite tutorial this is the bonus and conclusion tutorial so in this tutorial I'm going to show you some simple things that you can do to help you out in uh, the database creation, manipulation of data in the database just some simple neat tricks that will get you out there in time and working out well and for most databases this video is going to be quite helpful so the first thing I'm going to show you is something called a cursor and let's just get it what a cursor is so I just took the previous um, tutorial and uh, removed pretty much almost everything so actually I've not done that but we can do that with you guys I suppose so I can remove this function delete record I can remove this white space here maybe for the read data I can remain with update data maybe I'll use insert record I'm not using it and what else okay everything is now set so let me get you started quite fast so now it's just creating a cursor and what a cursor is is like a pointer that's directly connected to your database file it's like an agent who is already in the database and it's just looking for all these kinds of records for you instead of you going personally to the database what a cursor does is just it saves you time really if you're making something uh, big like maybe a game that's going to load a lot of data in a database you are going to likely use a cursor because it's way way fast as compared to a database a direct reference to a database object so dbase.cursor and what we're doing here is just creating a cursor object so you just say cursor equals to database so the database object dot cursor and for us to verify that we can say cursor created ah, I made a small spelling mistake but uh, right now it's all about getting everything understood so as you can see database open cursor created it's supposed to be created I hope you don't mind but now we have successfully created a cursor so now if we head back to our script we can now do things with this cursor so you can use the cursor in pretty much almost everything so instead of executing things directly from the database you can just use the cursor so I'm just going to copy that I made some big mistake there so cursor execute and if this works out well we should be able to see all the data being printed out just usual so save and run and clearly you can see that everything has worked out well we still have our data and so the creation of cursor object for now might not seem something huge but if you're working with tons of data believe me the cursor is much much faster so the last thing or the next thing that I'm going to show you is something that I really really searched for in the internet before I found the solution and so this might be something very important so go ahead and copy this read data and instead of read data, do we use the update record? Okay, and you can save them. So we just copy and paste. So read data, read data. But for now, we're not going to read data again. We are going to say check. Check data. So we are going to modify this again. Check data. And for us to use this cursor, I want us to check whether an entity exists in a table. So this is something that's quite useful. Maybe you have 2,000 employees in your records and for you to go by each and every employee checking whether he or she exists is going to be something so, so, so tedious. And what I'm going to show you right now is actually going to save you all that time. So for you to do this, we're just going to create another line there so that we can work on here for us to do that we are going to use something called fetch and in SQLite this is just what it says fetch gets data from a, a, a database file so the way that we do that is this so we are going to modify this a bit so select name 
from employee records I'm going to take that out where this is something I did not show you in the last tutorials but this is this can be done so where ID um, is equal to 2 and so for now we're just going to take this script out just comment it out and here it's going to be name save and if everything is okay if I call this check data it should work let me just comment read data for now so save and run and you can see it has actually worked quite well so the name is Cynthia where the ID is equal to 2 so that's something already that has been done it can be done like that but for example if that person does not exist you won't be able to see that so we can get this out comment it out and you just say you can give this a variable name like let's say x equal data dot fetch all then we can just say print x if you're in python 3 you're going to need to put brackets there in python 2 whether or not you have the brackets you're still safe so you can see it has gotten the name of the id so where the id is to it got everything and fetched it so instead of uh, doing this and printing and looking for stuff you can just write a simple if statement and we're going to do that so you can see it printed and it got something but let's say we reference to an id that doesn't exist let's say id 20 so save and run as you can see it returns an empty list so this is a very quite unique way of showing you whether someone or something exists in your records and if you are to do this more efficiently you can do something like this so x equals to data to fetch all if x is equal to empty list you can say print um, doesn't exist but what if he exists we can just say else print x so we just print whatever you fetched and so let's save and run for now we do not have id 20 but i'm just testing our program save and run and as you can see it has told you doesn't exist so what if we modify this back to 2 save and run so you can see it has showed us the person exists so this is quite a trouble i had this trouble trying to look for a program that can help me uh, determine whether an entity exists in a table and now that i've showed you that i think that will be all for this um bonus this was the most important actually uh, sorry about the window here and so if you got everything in sqlite this is something that comes like a bonus and you can use it there are tons of documents and uh, documentation online most people don't like reading document like i i really hate documentation but they're important so you have to if you want to be a professional in sqlite then again you can still use sqlite for simple um programs you can make maybe an uh what can you do you can make a simple program that is going to be used make use of the sqlite database and if i can just show you an example i have one written so here is my program we have the username email address and password so if i just say all records it's going to pull out from a database the records of everyone in the database and as you can see this is a very long list and so this is the benefits of a database you can store your records you can do it much much stuff with uh, SQLite for your maybe your benefits for your programs when you get to be maybe a professional or make something go cool in Python you can use this and I hope this tutorial has helped you like please like and subscribe to these videos and to this channel watch out for the next series I'm going to show you how to create GUI in Kinter so TK Inter is the one that I use to build this graphical user interface and that's what I'll be showing you in the next tutorial series Hopefully I release it soon. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And you can get all my codes from the description in the comment below. So thanks for watching.